Stacy the Sprout. Have you ever wondered if plants need sunlight? Well, today, I will be answering your question. Plants need sunlight in order to photosynthesize. Photosynthesis is the process by which green plants and some other organisms absorb sunlight and turn it into energy to synthesize their food from carbon dioxide and water. Since plants are autotrophs, they need access to sunlight in order to gain light energy, which is a part of their process in producing their food. Humans and other animals are heterotrophs, which means they rely on plants or other animals to gain the nutrients they need and the energy they need also. All green plants have a molecule called chlorophyll, which is what absorbs the sunlight. Chlorophyll absorbs red and blue light and reflects green light, which is why plants appear green to the eye. Not all plants have chlorophyll, though. There's a plant called the ghost plant that appears white because there's no chlorophyll. It's actually a parasite that leeches off of other plants for nutrients and energy. No wonder it's called the ghost plant. <gasps> ah! Phew, it was just a dream. All plants are beautiful in their own ways. They stand tall and proud. They have bright colors. But would they still be this way if they didn't have access to sunlight? To answer this, we've conducted an experiment. We started off by having some plants, calendula, which is what I am, basil, and Swiss chard, sitting in their usual spots soaking up sunlight next to a window. Then we had some kale sitting in a dark environment. We created our own dark area that our plant can sit in for our experiment. We used a milk carton, but a box could also work. We cut off the bottom of the milk carton and punctured some holes into the side so the kale can get the air it needs. Next, we took our special milk carton and covered the kale with it. Now the kale has a dark environment but will still get air. Of course, it will be very difficult to fully block out all light. A little bit of light could still reach the plant and change the overall outcome of our experiment. When experimenting, there could always be possible sources of error or variables that could change the end results. These are things us scientists need to think about. Sunlight is important to us plants. Since this kale is in a dark environment, it will slowly start to wilt or tilt over, I think. Now, we all have to wait. We will check on our little buddy tomorrow. Today, we are checking on our kale. Nothing has happened yet. It looks the same as yesterday. Bright green, standing tall, leaves all over, probably around six centimeters. We will check on our kale tomorrow. <gasps> Something happened. Our kale is leaning a little to the left side. The Swiss chard, calendula, and basil are all standing up straight. So the kale leaning over must be because of our experiment. Let's keep an eye on our kale for the next few days, and then we'll check back in. Wow, the kale is tilting over to the left so much more. It's still bright green and has leaves all over. Hmm, it doesn't seem wilted or rotted at all. It actually looks pretty healthy. I think that the leaning was the plant's way of trying to reach the sunlight. Our hypothesis was not supported from this experiment. Of course, there could have been flaws in the experiment or setup. Maybe our milk carton didn't block all the light from reaching the kale. Even though our experiment didn't support the hypothesis that plants need sunlight, that this is true. Plants do need sunlight because the formula for their food is carbon dioxide, water, and light energy. Without energy from the light, plants cannot synthesize their food. As scientists, sometimes our experiments don't support our hypothesis, but that is totally okay, as now we can conduct our new experiments. To conclude, our hypothesis was not supported by the results of the experiment, but we know that plants do in fact need sunlight to survive, so next time we might experiment differently. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on The Stacy Show.